of all, um, thank you Taco, thank you all the social media, uh, open social uh, Drupal team for the invitation. We're very glad to join you today. Uh, I'm going to present our project together in Germany. Um, this is a community platform um, which uh, we are using for providing information for migrants and refugees. And um, I am the IT project manager for the project, and my colleague Shub Pambala is uh, part of our IT support. I'm very glad he's today with us because he's since the beginning, since the uh, born of the of the idea to make this platform. And uh, yes, we are using the CMS as as an open source, uh, which is um, a, a good thing uh, we are doing. Um, I am going to give you at first like one um, historical context view how we uh, get the idea to work with um, together in Germany. So um, the project as as whole, the name is Handbook Germany Together, uh, is co is composed of, of those both pages, which is Handbook Germany and the community platform, and Handbook Germany is. Um, was born in 2017. It was born of the idea to provide uh, migrants and refugees with information about Germany because maybe you know Germany is uh, well known for having a very good social system but also a, with a very bureaucratic complex um, system as well. So um, we as migrants as well um, really were facing uh, some difficulties to get um, introduced in, this, in the system. So we were really um, um, glad uh, someone has the idea to create a Handbook Germany as page. Um, and we are part of this association, which the name is Neue Deutsche Medienmacherinnen. And this is an association of journalists uh, trying to uh, improve uh, diversity in uh, newspapers, in the media, uh, in Germany. So this is our main page, uh, Handbook Germany, where you can see uh, we are providing information about different topics. So how, um, how do I uh, buy a ticket, for example? Uh, nowadays in Germany, do you have the possibility to have a 50 euro ticket? So if you are new in, in, in a country, so take example as, as we came yesterday to uh, Netherlands to Amsterdam, you are facing out the first, when you go out of the tram, you need to buy a ticket and you don't really know if you want to ask a person of, or not. Uh, and, and sometimes uh, also even much more difficult for people who are coming from, from countries where they are facing war, such as Afghanistan or Syria and so on and so on. So these persons, they are not only coming to the country just to to know the country, just uh, even more to get integrated with their children, for example. And if you are a person with your family, you need to know, for example, where to um, subscribe your children for the school. So this page is going to give you all this information. And we have also all this content on social media, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and so on and so on, and nine different languages. So people who are coming are able to ha have this information in all these languages. So this is more or less how the context uh, of, of the main page. And um, how was the idea born to create um, um, Together in Germany? We got a lot of questions specifically for their personal situation on Facebook um, from, from refugees um, coming from, from different countries. So we wanted to provide a safe digital space where these persons get um, specifically information for their own situations with experts as well. So this was the idea to uh, provide this um, target group um, with um, the specific information they need to get integrated or to bring their families from the other countries and so on and so on. So now I will give the mic to, to my colleague, Shup. Is this on? Yeah. Okay. Um, Yes, so the idea was born in uh, November 2020 uh, because we had a lot of questions, people writing us on Facebook, people writing us on Instagram, 
with questions which we wouldn't like to answer in these open forums because they were sharing personal information and it was not really anonymous and it was not really data secure. And we did not even have the infrastructure or the team to, un to be able to answer personal questions and case by case. So we had the idea of making a forum, uh, a community basically where people can answer each other's questions and moderators or community managers can also accept these answers as correct or incorrect or can rate an idea or correct uh, um, answers that other people already commented. We started developing uh, with an external agency and uh, using open social as an open source because um, it was really important. We are a government funded uh, organization and uh, it was on a strict budget that we have to do uh, the development of the platform. So it was important for us to uh, choose software and choose tools that were open source that, and that are also data secure. Um, so we started testing it in 20, uh, 2021 and we finally got, uh, went live in May 20, uh, March 2022 with five languages. We had a lot of problems with um, languages uh, which are right to left with Arabic and Farsi. And we were only able to launch these two months later in May. Um, we are still now in the beta phase. We are not completely uh, out of our bug fixing problems because also again, uh, we also lack funding. A, a lot of time uh, we are work waiting on funding and we cannot really work on why, um, development or further development of the project till we have an approval. Um, and so now uh, we are also working on Pasto, which should be live in the end of the month. But again, uh, Pasto is also a right to left language. And there is a lot of the internet is not really taught for languages that do not have Latin alphabet. And so there are a lot of problems which happen just uh, with the size of a button, for example, how the font is shown inside, inside a button, the characters get uh, cut above uh, horizontally and also vertically. And this is something we have to maybe change the size of the font just to make it smaller to fit, fit inside a button. Um, these are the challenges we try to solve every day. Um, and uh, this year we are also planning to, because it's a community platform, but we also want to have a reliable source of information. So we are planning to um, introduce a one-on-one -on -one counseling service where people can book an expert or book an appointment with an expert and get live consulting from a trusted source and from a learned uh, or an informed person who has the enough knowledge to inform you about these topics. Oh, oh then you have to. No. Exactly. Um, uh, we also have the concept of um, the community managers can accept an answer. So anybody can post a question. We have, I will show you in the next slide how we have different topics. And anybody can post a question and anybody can answer. Uh, and the community managers can accept an answer if it is correct or incorrect. Um, so anybody who has the same question can just go on this forum and see if a trusted person and has accepted this answer and if the answer is actually reliable information. You do not need to register on the platform to get information, but if you want to post a question or comment on something, you need to register on the platform. So here we also have an integration of an iframe which uh, with our own tool. And it will show we are using web forms uh, to also categorize the information. When somebody posts a question, they need to choose minimum of two topics. One is the main topic and one is the subtopic. So we can categorize information which is then easier to find.
You can see we have the dro uh, language drop down. We are in seven different, no, eight different languages right now live. And we'll be live with Pashto at the end of June by the latest. Yes, as you see, like the community managers, um, they are having their uh, profile picture, um, also answering Luna in a personal way every question um, our users are having. I think this is the end, almost, yes. So these are our topics. This also has to be, because our main, uh, our parent company, basically, our parent project is Handbook Germany, which is uh, the collection of all the information. So we wanted to keep in mind the topics and the categories that we have on Handbook Germany, so people can be easily uh, have an easier flow from when they are directed from Handbook Germany to come to the forum, to find the similar topics and to categorize them in the same way. And that is why we have these all these different topics. Learning, family, you can basically get information about anything. How do I get my driver license approved? To how do I get my bachelor's degrees uh, translated? And uh, we, of course, different uh, people coming from different communities from, we are serving eight different languages, so the people come from all over the world. And the languages and the cultures and the bureaucracy is different for all the communities. And also Germany, has different laws for people coming from Turkey or uh, as compared to people coming from India or people coming from uh, Africa. Um, so we try to organize them also uh, based on the community. And different communities, of course, have different kind of questions which are relevant to them. This is our forum page. You can see we have some pinned questions we also have the community guidelines, um, and we uh, still have the filter. We are, of course, also using it as an open source. We are not using it as SaaS. So we are still uh, actually on an older version of Drupal and on an older version of Open Social, um, which we do not have all the latest features, like uh, everybody mentioned today. Um, but we are working on it. We are working at the end, of maybe till the end of the year, to upgrade our systems and upgrade our base uh, core modules also, to be able to make use of all the new features. So these are our main stakeholders, the community members. They are considered. Uh, to be the main focus group. They should be able to post anything and ask anything and answer anything. The community managers need to approve of these people. Uh, they also have the right uh, to block a profile, to block a question. Uh, community members also have, an, uh, have the uh, option to report a question. And the community managers will then uh, see if the question re uh, can remain published or it should be unpublished. We also have consultants or external advisors, which also have limited rights, uh, but they are also able to um, answer, uh, also able to post a comment, which is an approved answer. Uh, so people can see they also have a badge and people can see they, this information is coming from a trusted source. Yes, so I'm gonna, don't be afraid, I'm gonna <laughs> read uh, all these points in, in, in German also. Um, no, this is just, I wanted to show you how we um, conceptualize the rights and roles uh, we have, uh, we give in the, in the platform. So you also can, it maybe it's interesting for you also how to um, improve this in your platforms because we are having, uh, as uh, Shub already told like different um, roles, like we are as a tech team, we have the role as a super admin with all rights to, for example, block somebody which is getting in the platform uh, and maybe asking something we don't want uh, uh, to have in our platform. Um, the moderation, that was the old um, um, term we use for the community managers, they have certain um, uh, roles and rights also uh, on the platform. Um, 
most uh, most of the rights they have also as well. But we have we are promoting the project with different uh, actors on social where in um, Germany, um, such as Caritas and uh, so on and so on, who are also giving advice for refugees and migrants. So they are also getting a role in the platform and, for example, um, clicking and marking a good answer if this is like official answer of, of uh, one question one uh, user have done. Um, and also like this uh, pyramid you showed before, if for example in the last line, if uh, one super user, one user got like really engaged and is really getting active in the platform, he will get the super user role and um, will have uh, like a, a better overview and also have the right to um, um, choice the right answer in the forum. For example, this is um, for us at the moment actually one of the most active uh, platforms or languages is uh, Farsi, which is, uh, which is spoken in Iran. So um, this is very, uh, at the moment very active. So uh, our platform moves, of course, with what is happening politically and uh, in the world. So because, of course, people are moving in, into our country and people who are having experience before with integration um, so they are sharing their experience with our users in the platform. So Farsi is at the moment very, very um, active. Yes, well, we have also um, like people promoting our page, but we don't, get, with, we don't have that much people at the moment, but it's t a part of our concept that uh, the, the most our page will be known, that, that some people get promote our, also our page, like other organizations. Uh, um, we we are having um, we are working with um, yes and this is the the rights users are having and also you know like the users which are not getting registered um, they are allowed to read all the answers but they are not allowed to uh, ask questions so this is a very nice view of our projects they are our nine community managers in all different languages. Uh, which are curating um, every question. Um, also, they are looking in who is coming in the platform um, if, if uh, they are getting active. So this is a topic of engagement. Um, if one user is getting registered, they get a notification and they are trying to hold these users and to ask if they need something to know and, and um, they will be engaged in, in, in the page. Yes. So also another uh, very important and interesting way to, um, to get engaged the, the people, we, uh, uh, our users. So as you see, we have a bunch of followers on, on, on Facebook. So it's very active, our platform. And um, we are posting uh, in work with the journalists, which are curating the page on Handbook Germany. Um, we are promoting the community platform. So uh, we will see for an example of one ad we are doing um, on English for the uh, community platform. So please. It can be an extremely daunting experience. Navigating customs and procedures is not easy, particularly if you don't have any friends and hardly speak the language yet. Are you looking for someone to... Okay, so um, in your life as in you see, country, uh, this post was uh, did on the 11th of May, um, and so since two months we have uh, we are lucky, so we get funding, so we are also celebrating this year because we will get further with the project, and we have a data analyst um, engaged to um, look out um, how our ads are working. So it was 11 of May, and you can see, of course. The numbers got higher directly uh, because, of course, all the users which uh, saw Facebook, they went in our community platform. So it's obvious. Um, yes, just 
the last uh, lines uh, we want to share with you. Um, what is uh, planning for the future? Um, I um, yes, I, I will show you one last, uh, two last uh, slides. This is how nowadays the digital ecosystem for arriving in Germany it looks like. Um, like um, up there, there are the target group, and uh, we have different actors providing information to these persons who are arriving in Germany. And our goal with these boot platforms is to create a center and place where we also, through AP, APIs, uh, connect these services and provide all information for our target group in one place. Uh, this is what we want to uh, do in the future, and of course continue on, uh, produ uh, producing uh, multimedia uh, for all, all our social channels, um, to get a strong behavior of our users, and uh, preparing the project for our next funding period. We are funding uh, from the European U Union, from them um, f a fund for migration and integration, and also from the International Rescue Committee. And as time flies, 2025 will be very soon, so we are also interested to get connected with other actors and uh, to go further with our work which is very uh, necessary. So thank you very much, and here is our contact.